I cannot believe I'm about to drink milk out of a vending machine. We're Jana and Brett. Since our honeymoon nine years ago, we've spent more than 24 months living and traveling in Europe. So far, we've entered to 25 countries, but our goal is to visit every country in Europe and to explore every nook and cranny of the Alps. After flying from the USA to Europe for the first time since September 2020, we're enjoying an entire month in the Swiss Alps. Today, we're going on a food tour. But not your typical food tour. You've heard of farm to table. Today's gonna kind of be like farm to mouth. I am so excited. So we're here at Interlaken for a whole month and the other day we went and took a walk in the farms near us and we came across these farm stands selling like local cheese and jam and even milk. And so today we're going back to those farm stands and we're gonna hit up a few other ones and we're gonna do our own DIY food tour here in Interlaken. Stop number one is at our new favorite bakery, Steininger. We've picked up some bread to take for our picnic. Hopefully it's crusty and gooey inside and goes super well with our cheese and with the jam that we hope to pick up next. I really wanna eat the bread like right now, but the bread is for a purpose and it has to be used after stops two and three. So be patient for crying out loud. This is the church, this is the steeple. Turn to the right and oh my gosh, fresh Alp cheese. Are you ready for some cheese? Here's how it works. So you open the refrigerator. And there's a variety of cheese, some fresh eggs, and there's even a sausage hiding over here in the corner. You grab which one you want and you put your money right here in this box. Stop number three is at another local farm where we're gonna pick up some jam. It looks like we have apricot or peach, blueberry, or maybe some kind of currants. Strawberry, don't know what that is. Hard to go wrong with strawberry. <laughs> this is hilarious. I mean, it seems so easy. There's the fridge, you open it, you get the stuff you want. There's a little box to put your coins in, but how do you know what to pay? We still have no idea how much this jam costs. Pretty sure those are price tags. We're three on top. Well, for 50 franc later, we have our third food for our DIY food tour, and we're off to number four. Our next stop is Rugenbrau. This is the only brewery in the entire Berner Oberland, which is kind of the region in the mountains here between Lake Thun and Lake Brienz. So we're gonna go in and try some beer perhaps, as well as some whiskey, and they might even have some wine. to get a whiskey tasting here and there are so many good looking whiskeys. This one though I was totally sold on and here's why. It's aged for a total of 11 years. First it spends four years down in the cellar beneath here but then it goes up 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 and away to the top of the Jungfrau Joch which is at about 12,000 feet of elevation and there it spends seven years in the ice to give it its characteristic flavor. Oh, that smells good. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Whoa. <laughs> I like whiskey with a bite, but man, it's like I drank that and immediately when I swallowed, it's like fire was like filling all the way back up into my mouth. <laughs> I've never had anything like it, but I kind of liked it. You know, maybe some of you had whiskey where you drink it and it just burns. This one, it was like, it was like a John Cougar Mellencamp hurts so good kind of moment. Hurts so good. Where the burn was like just this fiery flavor engulfing every part of my mouth. 
I wasn't able to taste any beers because of COVID, but I did get one to take on our picnic. After our first few stops on our DIY food tour, it is time to sit down, have a picnic, and enjoy all the goodies. We finished the first half of our food tour, which took us from Interlaken to Wildersville. Now we've hopped on the train, which is going into the Lauterbrunnen Valley. Oh my gosh, we're so excited. This is where we honeymooned 90 years ago and first made us fall in love with Switzerland. Notice, we didn't fall in love with each other on the honeymoon. We fell in love with Switzerland. But that's because we had already fallen in love. It's all good. I am so giddy just to be back here in Lauterbrunnen. And apparently we're not the only ones who felt that way. Story has it that Tolkien found his inspiration for Arendelle in Lord of the Rings because of his travels here in this valley. No, your eyes have not deceived you. This is literally a milk vending machine. Looks like you open this. It's like one of those little filtered water bottle dispenser thingies. 0 0.06 of a liter. This cup should be big enough. I cannot believe I'm about to drink milk out of a vending machine. <laughs> this is so cool. No joke, this is the creamiest, tastiest milk I've ever had. Of course, that might be because I drink skim milk most of the time. Don't hold it against me. Mmm. It's super cold and refreshing, but it's like the best flavors of cheese, but in milk. It's so good. I'm spoiled. I can never have milk from the grocery store again. This is just insanely beautiful. I mean, I'm sitting here counting waterfalls and admiring all the wildflowers. I hear the cowbells. Like, this is the most beautiful place on earth. And I forgot to mention all the super cute houses too. Our next stop is another vending machine, but this is not like vending machines in America. This one has eggs, cheese, sausage, local juices and drinks, and we're gonna buy something together today. So we put in our money, enter the number, and out comes our item. Here it is. Wow. Okay, that is super sweet, but it's thick and syrupy, almost like, I don't know, what is it like? Okay, after tasting, we think it's supposed to be mixed in with water, almost like a lemonade concentrate or squash is what they have in the UK, it's similar. So very good, but not lemonade like I expected. <laughs> figure out what to do with it. Oh my goodness, there's something new in the vending machine. Let's take a look. Hamtefeli. I'm not sure if that's how you say it or not, but that's what I'm going with. It looks like caramel, sugary caramel. I don't know. We're going to try it. I'm sure it's amazing. Oh my gosh. It honestly tastes like a really buttery sugar cookie. Oh. Oh my goodness. It tastes like caramel, but the consistency of like crushed up graham crackers soaked in butter. To wrap up our DIY food tour today, I thought we should play a game. Okay. So here's how it's gonna go. I'm gonna guess what your favorite thing was from today, and then you get to guess what you think my favorite thing was from today, Ooh. and then we'll see if we're right. I think 
Jana's favorite thing today was the milk. You went on and on about how you could basically taste what the cows were eating <laughs> and you imagined like cheese that's just like the milk. And so, yeah, I think it was the milk. Okay. I think that your favorite thing was the whiskey tasting okay. because I have never seen you react like that. It was like I could see <laughs> the fire like coming up from yeah. your inside. And I think that must be your favorite because you've never had a reaction like that before. So it's true. I was very surprised by that, but I will say you're not correct. Actually, I think the milk was my favorite part. That makes I, sense because you had so much to say about how it was my favorite thing. I don't know. I didn't really think a lot about what the milk would taste like. I really kind of just thought about the experience of getting it out of a vending machine. But when I tasted that milk, like <laughs> legit, that was awesome. My favorite thing was the milk. I think it was my favorite thing because I've just never tasted something where I could taste the grass and the flowers of the cows ate. That blows my mind. Mm. Which means it was apparently our favorite thing of today's DIY food tour. By the way, this is definitely syrup that's made to be diluted with water. Cheers. Do you want to go on this DIY food tour too? You can. We put together a Google map with all the pins of every place that we went today. That map is on our blog and we'll link it in the description below. Get back, zebra stripes. <laughs> You are what the Finns call a les incompetent. Switzerland has the happiest cows, so literally you're drinking the milk from the happiest cow. If you follow us on Instagram, if we see more milk vending machines, we are definitely going to stop and we will share it with you on there. Mm -hmm. Got it. Got it, dude.